Alice. I'm Alice. And I'm Madison. Welcome to the GMS News Show for the week of May 15th, 2023. Yearbooks may still be purchased. Just visit yearbookforever.com. If you're walking to school, please show you're wearing something reflective. If you want to join band or choir next year, have your parents email Miss Marshall at kmarshall at gws.k12.in.us. There's a soccer camp, soccer camp June 6th through the 8th for grades K through 8. The camp will cost $30. For K through 4th grade, the camp is 67 p.m. And for 5 to 8th grade, it will be 7 to 8 p.m. If you can find more, you can find more details about this on the GMS homepage. The last day of school is Thursday, May 25th. Don't forget to turn any books you owe into the IMC and finish the semester strong. Now let's go to the interview of the week, top trending, and the GMS sports update. Have a great week, everybody. We're welcome to the GMS News Show Interview of the Week. I'm Rebecca Lynn, here with 6th grade instructional assistant, Mrs. Cogdill. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. Okay. Would you like to start by telling us a little bit about yourself? Uh, I'm actually a Greenwood graduate. I graduated a gazillion years ago and moved away after high school for 17 years. Just recently moved back about two years ago and married with two children. One Ooh. in the middle school, one in the high school. Why did you want to work with kids? It was never really the plan. Uh, just kind of came about where there was a need in the school and I really like just helping in general and decided to see if I could be that like help and assistance that was needed. Well, good thing you like helping people. <laughs> What's the, what do you enjoy most about working in a school? Uh, the best thing is really the watching the growth and development of the kiddos especially from like beginning of the year towards the end and then like each day there's a different kid that struggles with a topic or something and then watching that moment when it finally clicks and it all starts to make sense and they have that aha moment and you just kind of like see the face light up and I don't know there's just something special and cool about that okay last or next question what's your favorite place to go on vacation and why do you love to visit there um, we've traveled a lot. I think my favorite is uh, London. There's just a lot of history. There's so many like awesome cool things to see and do and there's it's like endless. So we still plan on going back a couple more times and seeing what we've missed so far. Uh, but I, I just really like traveling. Interesting. Now my kids would say that we like the Caribbean, but yeah. that's only with them. <laughs> why is your or what is your favorite movie and why do you love it um favorite movie is remember the titans and strictly because i grew up playing a lot of sports and it's taken a lot of personalities especially with kiddos there's lots of personalities and meshing the diversity and everything into one and having to find a way to make it work to be a team to be successful because if you can't find that teamwork to build as one you're never going to succeed Okay, that is one of my favorite movies. Thank you for coming on our show today, Ms. Cogdell. Have a great week. You too. Hello, welcome to Top Printing, where we share the top weird and fun stories of the week. I'm Nolan. And I'm Rebecca. Starting off with number one. According to Doggo News, a black hole is traveling across space, leaving a trail of stars. Peter Van Dockham found this discovery accidentally when he was looking for star clusters. Dockham says, I immediately thought, oh, a cosmic ray hitting the camera detector and causing a linear imaging artifact. When they eliminated cosmic rays, it was still there. It didn't look like anything we've seen before, he says. When they investigated farther, Doctor and his team found a chain of newborn stars that was 200,000 light years long. Number two, according to Fox 59, there was a loud boom in central Indiana around April 21st. People believed that it was a meteorite that struck, which was what caused the sonic boom. There are no reports of damage, but lots of citizens are saying they caught videos on their door cameras. It is still currently unclear exactly what the event was. However, the Hamilton County Emergency Management Twitter account posted around 9 p.m. that there have been no reports of damage and that first responders are investigating. That's all for Top Trending. Have a great week, GMS. Welcome to GMS Sports. I'm Daniel. Let's look at this week's events. On Monday, May 15th, we have a GMS track meet at Johnson County Champions championship. 
four, at 4.30 4 p.m. at Center Grove Central. That's it for sports. Have an amazing week, GMS. Hello, I'm Dexter. Welcome to Roll Call. Today, we're asking kids what they're going to do over the summer. I'm going to South Carolina. I'm going to, I want to go to New York for my birthday, and I'm moving houses. I'm going to Michigan. I'm going to Mississippi to see my aunt and my cousin. I'm probably going to hang out with my friends a lot over the summer. I'm going to a whole bunch of different baseball games over the summer. Um, I'm going to be training my dog that I'm getting this summer. And I'm going to sleep, and then I'm going to party on the 4th, and man, and sleep. I'm going to hang out with my favorite people this summer. I'm going to Disneyland. You know, actually, I'll probably uh, go to Nashville, Tennessee, and hopefully see a Cardinal baseball game and do some camping.